This video is brought to you by Sailrite. We'll be comparing Sailrite's patented posi pin system to a friction clutch system. This is the Ultrafeed LS1 sewing machine with the posi pin with the standard balance wheel. And here's an LSZ sewing machine with the optional Monster 2 balance wheel with the posi pin. Now this is a look-alike sewing machine with a friction clutch knob, not nearly as nice. Let's first demonstrate how the bobbin winding works with the posi pin. Remove the posi pin from the balance wheel, stick it in the keeper, push the bobbin over, and you're ready to wind bobbins. When the bobbin's full, just push the posi pin back into the balance wheel, find the hole in the shaft, and you're ready to sew again. Same thing with the Monster 2 balance wheel that's optional. Remove the posi pin, stick it in the keeper, push the bobbin over, and you're ready to wind bobbins. When you're done winding bobbins, Take the posi pin out, put it in the balance wheel, find the hole in the shaft, and you're ready to sew under power again. This lookalike sewing machine has a friction clutch knob. Release the knob, push the bobbin over, and you're ready to wind bobbins. Ooh, it sounds pretty loud. When you're done winding bobbins, just kick the bobbin over, and then lock the friction clutch knob down as hard as you can. Let's remove the friction clutch knob and its balance wheel and put it on this old sewing machine shaft here. Here's the clutch washer. There are two raised fingers on the inside. Those raised fingers need to be facing up. Notice you can spin the washer so that the three prongs on the outside are different directions. We'll try it first like this and screw the clutch knob on without installing the balance wheel. Now let's take a look to see if one of those fingers is in the way of the screw. It is. Notice the screw is resting right on top of one of those fingers there. We don't want that to happen. So we have to remove the clutch knob and turn the clutch washer 180 degrees so that the fingers are in different locations. That is the three outer fingers. So we'll rotate that and let's put that knob back on top to show you exactly what I mean. Now when we take a look at it from the other side with that balance wheel missing, you'll notice that the screw is not impeding with one of the fingers when you lock it down hard. So let's take off the clutch knob and let's install the balance wheel making sure that we don't rotate the clutch washer. We're going to put the clutch washer on exactly in that same location so we can make sure that we apply tons of pressure with the clutch knob when we screw it down hard. Now this old shaft will make a perfect test because on this end we have the clutch washer system installed from a look-alike sewing machine and on the opposite end we have the power plus wheel with the posi pin system. We'll take the posi pin out of the Monster 2 balance wheel and insert it in the power plus wheel here. You'll notice there are four holes on the opposite end. The pin can be inserted into any one of those four holes. Now when we grasp hold of that, notice which one slips. It's the friction clutch knob system. Let's make sure that that clutch knob is tightened down as hard as it possibly can go. You know we have the clutch washer on appropriately. So now here it is hard. Again, it is what slips and it slips fairly easily. But the power plus wheel with the posi pin will never slip. It's a 100% power transfer. Utilizing the posi pin system, you'll never have to worry about power loss due to a balance wheel slipping on its shaft. It's completely locked. When you're in the market for a portable, heavy-duty walking foot sewing machine, be sure to insist on it having the posi pin system. The posi pin system is patented by Sailrite and exclusively sold on the Sailrite Ultrafeed sewing machines as a standard component. I'm Eric Grant. Thanks for watching.